Major Slack Attack. But yeah, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. Let's walk through some more Skyrim combat. Archer Overdrive. Our girl Gina has her mega biz suit all ready to rock and roll to make some super kick-ass combat gear. That's what it's all about in this video. We have a whole bunch of business gear that is completely obsolete. Let's dump it off in our to sell barrel just to uh, lighten the load a bit. And even the combat gear we don't need anymore. We're going to make new combat gear. And we don't need Azadol's gear anymore. Actually we do. Keep that on board. There we go. Carry weight 64. Fantastic. All right. Now, you may want to enchant something else, but I chose Forsworn Armor because it looks totally badass. Check out Gina in her Forsworn Armor with her with her war paint. Totally badass. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Alright. So that's why I chose that. It's like, you know, it's the crappiest armor when it comes to armor, but and it doesn't even have a smithing perk associated with it, but we could still reach the armor cap with this crappy Forsworn armor. Um let's put our business gear back on. And Let's make some smithing potions. First of all, I want to demonstrate that you cannot make enchanting potions any more powerful, even though we took it one extra loop. I don't have any blue butterfly left, but we can use some of the spawn ash here. Okay, this will make enchanting potions if we mix it up with, um, if we have secret shadows. Just for demonstrational purposes, let's Activate Seeker of Shadows. Sallow Regent. And we're going to need to do that anyways to make the smithing potions. Seeker of Shadows. Back to headquarters. And with Seeker of Shadows activated and our Mega Biz gear on. We're going to try to make an enchanting potion more powerful than 40%. And can't be done. So we're, we've reached the max. We've reached the max. Okay, so. I did take the loop one extra um, loop, but that was just for demonstration purposes. Let's take out some Fortify Smithing ingredients, which would be any two of the following. I'm not sure if I have them all, but. Um, Blisterwort. Glowing Mushroom. About half a dozen will do it. You don't need that many. If you don't have any of that, you can use Sprig and Sap. Or Saber Cat Tooth. Okay. Any two of those four will make smithing potions. Okay, we're gonna make, we're gonna use blister word and glowing mushroom. Double check, seeker of shadows. Mega biz gear on. This should make 158% smithing potions. Indeed, it does. Let's make, let's make them all. All right, now we're gonna do some smithing. Before you do any smithing, at the very least, before you do any improving, activate Salo region. And this time we're gonna activate Seeker of Might. That's the one that's gonna improve smithing. Back to the headquarters. 
Ow. Horse wearing gear is improved with leather. We'll need four. All we have to do is take a smithing potion with her mega biz gear on and we'll easily reach the armor cap with this crappy horse horn gear. Legendary, legendary, and legendary, and legendary. Let's put on the horse horn gear. Look at that, 594. Now, this is with the Seeker of Might um, perk activated. You can actually take it higher. The armor cap is 567, so we've gone over the cap. Yeah, we can actually take it higher. If you put on the Seeker of Shadows, because light armor falls under the Seeker of Shadows perk. I believe you could take it up to 622. 653. It's insane, eh? Way over the cap. But you don't want to do that because in combat, I know, um, ideally what you want is Seeker of Might activated. But just, just for demonstration purposes. We have some excess here. We don't need it at 594. We can get away with a little less. So let's go back. Here's what we're going to do. We have two spare dragon souls. There we go, two dragon souls. We can go to the the skill carousel. I'm still looking for the official name to this. This is called the Waking Dreams Carousel. This is what you earn as a reward for completing the Dragon Park DLC. And here you can spend a Dragon Soul to get back all the perk points in any skill without declaring a legendary. What we're going to do is we're going to take back all the perk points from smithing and all the perk points from light armor. Why light armor? It's like because we can get away with less perk points and light armor and still reach the armor cap, which will save us a perk point. So right now we have three points in the Agile Defender and one point in Custom Fit. And custom fit. We could actually get away with just two points in Agile Defender and one point in Custom Fit. Let's do that right now. Light armor. I always forget which one it is. Speech. That's alchemy. Here we go. Light armor. Okay. Spend a Dragon Soul to clear those perks. And we're also going to clear Smithing. Okay. Spend a Dragon Soul to clear those perks. Okay, once you've got all those perks back. Go to the skill tree. At the very least, you're going to need one. Two points in Agile Defender and one point in Custom Fit. And let's check our. That's perfect. Armor rating 519. Now we're below the armor cap, but we're going to fix that later on when we enchant. Okay, don't worry about it. And we still have some perk points left. Swing it on over to Smithing. In order to make Stallroom gear, we're going to make two Stallroom bows. Okay, in order to make star room gear, you need ebony smithing. Okay, so we were we went up the light armor branch, now we're going up the heavy armor branch, okay? So steel smithing, dwarven smithing, orcish smithing, and ebony smithing. That's all you absolutely need. If you don't want to spend the two perk points to get Daedric smithing and dragon armor, at which point we'll be able to make dragon bone arrows, which will be the very best arrows you can make. Don't bother spending those perk points. But I want to make dragon bone arrows because I decided not to make a dragon bone bow, um, but I do want to make the arrows because the those arrows will outperform ebony arrows. Ebony arrows will be 20, and dragon bone arrows will be 25. 
So that's the very best arrows you can make. So all those dragon bones that we collected earlier are not, are not going to go to waste. Entirely optional because the, the damage bonus you get from that is... I wouldn't say negligible, but it's it's not nearly as much as the damage bonus you get from like you know, from other things like you know, smithing with your mega business suit and and stuff like that. So you you could get away with ebony arrows, but I like dragon bone arrows. You know why? Because dragons are everywhere, and you got a, a constant supply of dragon bones, and you know you can make as many arrows as you like. Whereas ebony, it's limited. You know, once you've mined out. I think there's one mine, one ebony mine in all of Skyrim. Once you mine that out, you gotta wait 30 days for it to respawn. And it's either that or go around and buy really expensive ebony ingots from all the smiths, the blacksmiths. So yeah, I'm gonna go for this route here. But like I said, for you, entirely optional. It's up to you. There we go. So now we can make dragon bone arrows. Okay, we are out of here. That's it. Wrong one. Let's read any black book to get back. And I should have Seeker of Might activated, that's correct. Let's put on our business suit. And you have a supply of Star Room, I hope. You're going to make two bows. For that, you're going to need eight Star Room, that's all. Three to make each bow, and one to improve each bow. Eight star room. It is in the right here. Very good. Make sure you got the seeker of might activated. You got this your business suit on, mega biz suit on. Quick save. Take one of your super kick-ass 158% smithing potions. And you're at the wrong implement slot. Go to the grindstone. And we're going to improve these bows to legendary. Let's take a look at the numbers. That is correct, 261. And this is obsolete too. In you go. Okay, so now we have all our gear smithed up. Forsworn gear smithed up the legendary. Star and bows smithed up the legendary. Book, Salo region. We're gonna activate Seeker of Sorcery. Put on Azadol's genius and use those kick butt forty percent potions to make all our combat gear and weapons. Here we go, Azadel's gear on. And before every major, major like crafting session, I like to do a hard save. Because quick saves get overridden. Okay, so. Seeker of Sorcery, Azadel's genius. Enchanting potions, we're ready to rock. Starting off with an enchanting potion. Enchant the headdress. Grand Soul Gem. And I'm gonna put Archery and Fortify Destruction. Fifty-seven percent and thirty-five percent. Why fortify destruction once again? 
this is going to make us once we get the spell cost destruction spell cost down to zero in other words if we have 100 percent destruction spell cost um our bows which are going to be enchanted with absorb health will never need recharging that was the whole point of putting destruction fortified destruction okay all right so next we're going to do the gauntlets do a quick save On the gauntlets, we're going to put archery and lock picking. The second one is entirely optional. Put whatever you want, but put archery for sure. Archery, and I'm going to put lock picking. As you know, when you're out in the field, you come across a lock. You want to be able to pick it easier. Perfect combat enchantment. 57%, 57%, that is correct. Let's go get that ring and necklace that we stashed earlier. Big save, next, armor. We're gonna put fortify light armor and fortify destruction. Fortify destruction and fortify light armor. And I'm going to call this specifically the Combat Rest Plate. Very specific reason why I want to do that. I don't want to name it Armor. I want to name it Rest Plate, and I'll show you why later on. Let's check it out. 35% and Light Armor Skill increased by 35 points. Let's just test it out. Let's headdress and the force burn boots and boya. There we go. We we went over the armor cap. Mission accomplished. Armor cap without a shield is 567. So there we go. N only <laughs> three wasted armor rating points. And that's without the Lord Stone. You don't need a um the Lord Stone to do this. Very good. Alright. Azadel's gear back on. Fortify Enchanting Potion. Next, Boots. On the Boots we're going to put Resist Fire, Resist Frost. Basically our Dragon Busting Boots. That's correct, 2 quick save. Fortify Enchanting Potion. Coming up next, two rings. Uh oh, I'm short a ring. Grand Soul Gem. Okay, the first ring we're going to put Archery and Fortify Destruction. This one we're going to call the Combat Ring. Fifty-seven percent, thirty-five percent. So with this, we now have one hundred percent destruction spell reduction, as indicated by going to your destruction and hover over any spell, and you see cost zero magic up per second. Okay, so that is that accomplished. As well as gear back on. Now I need one more ring. There we go. Yeah, I got another ring. Quick save. This time chanting. Ring, Soul Gem. Same thing, Fortify Archery definitely, and Resist Magic. And we're going to call this the Combat Band. That way it'll group nicely right at the top 
of the list of combat gear. So you'll have a choice of either wearing the ring, which is going to be at the bottom, or the band, which is going to be at the top. What's the difference? Like the difference is, this one will give you, will make it so that your bows um, never need recharging, or if you want some extra magic resistance, which you're going to need, put on this one. And your bows won't it will need recharging, but there's going to be times where you're going to prefer to have extra magic resistance. And with this on, you'll be able to re reach the magic resistance cap. Let's just check it out. Active effects. Oh wait, I haven't made the necklace yet. That's right. Okay, let's check it. Let's make the necklace. Azadel's gear on, active effects, Azadel's genius, seeker of sorcery, quick save, potion. <laughs> complicated as all fuck. Pardon my French. Um, item, necklace, grand soul gem. This time we're gonna put archery and resist magic. Now, you have a choice. You have a choice of equipping the combat band, and the combat band along with the combat necklace will give you the maximum allowable magic resistance, which is 85%. So here we have 30 plus 15 is 45, plus two times 28, which will put you over 85. All right, that's like what uh, four minutes is it? Thirty at uh, one fifty plus minutes and carry the two. <laughs> uh, I think what is it? Ninety one percent. Yeah, ninety one percent. All right, forty five plus twenty eight plus twenty eight. Hundred and one percent. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, way over the max. But the other way, um, you're a little short. The other way, you're like 73%. You can get away with that, actually, even with a dragon. But, you know, if you want the maximum allowable, um, yeah. Right? So that's the point of that. Just to not leave any holes in the list. You know, if you have, like, you know, combat ring one, combat ring two, kind of, like, leaves you a hole and it that makes you, like, search for the right one. Here it's just, like, top, top or bottom. You just remember it like that. That's the whole point of that. All right, let's work on the bows. Okay, let's make the bows. Um, yeah, there's a jump cut there because I screwed up and I had to like start over uh, from the bow making part. Okay, so let's make the bows. We got our gear ready to go. All the combat gear is ready to go. And Azadal's genius. Seeker of Sorcery, that's correct. We have enough enchanting potions. We got it way more. And we got two stalwart bows that are legendary. All right, let's do it to it. We're going to make two bows, both of them with chaos damage, one with absorb health, and one with the fiery soul trap. So you have a choice of either just going total combat or um, trapping souls and you're probably going to find use for both of them because there's going to be times you know here in overdrive where it's just going to say you know the heck with the trapping souls i just want full-on combat and i want to be able to recover health every time i'm shooting someone right let's start with that one we're going to call them simply the leech and the soul trapper right let's start with the leech Star Room Bow, Grand Soul Gem, Chaos Damage, Max, and Absorb Health, Max. And we're going to call this The Leech. OK, 
Okay, that's going to improve once we put on the Seeker of Might perk. Right? 238. Next. Big save. Post of enchanting. Star Rumbo. Grand Soul Gem. This time Chaos Damage max and Fiery Soul Trap not max. Bring it right down to two seconds. Don't put it at one second because there's going to be times when it malfunctions and then one second is actually not enough sometimes to trap the souls. Put it at two seconds. And we're just going to call this the Soul Trapper. And that's it. That's our combat gear. Now, let's put on the combat gear. Let's say the one that's going to make the bows not ever need recharging, which will be the combat ring. And let's read the Sala Regent book, activate the Seeker of Might, which is our combat perk. And that's it. We're ready to go. Gina is now in overdrive, officially. <laughs> Check out the damage. Yeah, that's exactly right, 857. Did I make some fortify marks mid potions yet? No, I did not. Okay, let's put on the Mega Biz suit. It's insane. Secret of Shadows. We could also make some fortified destruction potions. If I have to do for that. Do I have the ingredients for that? That would be Nightshade. He's got some Nightshade already. And Glowing Mushroom. I know where you can get some more. All right, and Fortified Marksman Potions. We've been collecting all the ingredients for that. Elves Ear. And I believe I have a whack ton of Juniper Berries as well. And it's kind of redundant to hold back since these are the most powerful potions we can make. Fifty-eight percent. That's correct. Let's just make them all. Let's make thirty. Let's make half of them. Not that it makes any difference, because like I said, we won't be able to make them more powerful. But uh, just to, <laughs> just to reduce the carry weight a little bit. And. Fortified Destruction Potions will increase the amount of health you absorb. Okay, great. 198% stronger. That's insane. Now we're ready. Stash those spare enchanting potions. Go over to the smithing barrel, stash these spare smithing potions. Any 
other extra gear on board that we don't need. We don't really need this anymore. Do a little test here. We want Seeker of Might. Quick save because we don't want to waste any potions. And 857, that's right. Okay, let's take a fortified marksman potion. Uh oh, we broke the game. <laughs> it went down, Slack. It's only 221 damage. No, actually, we broke the game. Um, Skyrim is incapable of showing damage numbers with four digits. Unless you look right at the bottom in the green, there you see the green number. That's the real damage, 2,212. But this damage number is incorrect. It just shows the first three digits of this, you see? So yeah, broke the game. You broke the game! Yeah, I broke the game. <laughs> That's how much damage you're doing with the, the Fortify Marksman potion. And if you use Marked for Death, it's even more. I'm gonna show you next video. We'll do, do a little, next video we'll do like, we'll kick the tires and light the fires, take her out into combat and you know, go up against a giant and a mammoth and an ancient dragon, which like I said, just, just surprised the hell out of me. I was like, what? You know, it's like, yeah, that's coming. Oh yeah, we'll make some, um, and some dragon bone arrows next video as well. And for that, you won't need anything more. We've already got everything. All we need is, uh, we've already got the seeker of might. All you need is some firewood. We've got tons of dragon bones. So it's just a matter of going out and chopping some firewood, which I should probably do off camera. And then I'll bring it back here, make some dragon bone arrows, and then, like I said, we'll go into combat. So that is it. Gina is now officially in overdrive. And I think she looks totally badass in her force horn gear. The war paint goes perfectly with it. Yeah, this is kick, 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 ass. Yeah, that's it. Um, thanks for watching. And if you want to see Gina go into combat, come back next video. And. Like I said, we'll kick the tires and light the fires. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to give me a thumbs up and stuff like that there. And I'll see you next time. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1. That's all. That's all it takes. All right. Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.